big curved monitors are expensive. Except for this one. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you might need a monitor for working from home. A lot of people are doing it these days. It's the cool thing to do. You might want a decent little monitor. Now, I wanted something fairly large. The 32 inch range, I think, is a really good size. 27 inches, very adequate, but 32 makes you feel like you're living in the lap of luxury. And this one is a 32 inch monitor, but it's not just a 32 inch monitor, it's curved, which is going to help just put everything, regardless of where it is in the monitor, at the perfect angle to your eye. And on top of that, this one was super cheap. So let's get it unboxed and check it out and see if it was worth it. Okay, got it unboxed here, and you can see that curve. It's pretty dramatic. I'd call this like a 1000N curve. Looks a little bit like my Samsung 49 inch there. And this is really just to work as a second monitor. As you can see here, it's AOC, not the entertaining congresswoman from New York. And it looks like the speaker grills are on the bottom. We also have this post on the back. So I wanna show you that too, because this post will move. It will allow the monitor to angle up or down and then you can see here we have a bottom piece that is right there so I'm going to lock that one in and it just fits in there and then you do have a little bolt right here that you just need a flathead screwdriver to tighten in so that'll make it a permanent installation you can see there is a little rubber pad on the bottom there and then the legs here are all kind of a cast metal so should hold that in place and keep it from sliding around the back is nice and glossy, and before we back that thing up, I am going to just kind of pull off the access panel in the back here, because this is where the business end of it is, and you can see here we have a display port, it looks like, HDMI, D-Sub, and a headphone jack right over there. And then on the other side, we have the power plug, and it does come with the power cables you might expect, as well as an HDMI cord right here. So I was pretty impressed to see that there too. So let's just get this all plugged up and see if it works. And the power button is right underneath the AOC logo right there. Lights up and woo, she's coming alive. Dude, first of all, it is connected right out of the gate. So that is awesome. Now I'm gonna play around with it and see what I think. All right, so I've been using this display here for a little while, and I want to show you. I've got it set up with my Mac here, and it's a second display, so it's extended. And so if I click on this and drag it over here, perfect. I can actually have something else running on this display, be working over here, or vice versa. And really, combined with my standing desk, that's really what I wanted, is to be able to take some work maybe that I was working on, drag it over to this screen, take my keyboard and mouse over here, stand up my desk and work on it. Now I will say everything about this is really nice. You can actually see here the bezel, the metal bezel around the display is pretty small. And then the uh, amount of wasted space on the glass is pretty small. So it kind of looks like a frameless, bezel-less monitor in some ways, but obviously you do have maybe, oh, I don't know, a quarter inch total to the edge there. But otherwise you have a ton of usable space as opposed to some of those really thick plastic bezels that overlay the LCD or the LED. So that's really nice. And I love the curvature. You know, a smaller display like this, 32 inches, means that you're only gonna be two, three feet away from it. And so when you're looking from side to side, the slight curvature is perfect. It just kind of slightly tilts things to you. So you don't look like you're looking at things um, off cockeyed, right? And so that's really nice. I think this is actually perfect for this size. And I really love the tall size, 32 inches. You know, you might not be able to tell here, but 32 inches is actually taller than my 49 inch display here which is actually a little more squat so I get actually a lot of real estate for not a huge footprint and nice sleek legs right here I will say that because there aren't any rubber tips on the front you can see it moves around a little bit here so I think I'm going to cut just a, some small rubber tips out of like a cell phone mat and put them under there just to kind of give it a little bit more traction so I don't have to worry about it moving around now it's not going to slide off my desk because of the rubber back there but it kind of pivots and you actually might like that you might be able to like adjusting that and I will say that the hinge right here on the back is pretty nice I can tilt it up pretty dramatically or I can tilt it down so if I raise the desk or lower it the nice thing is you can kind of get it at the angle you want so that's really nice and it seems to hold that position really nicely. So do I like this curved monitor? You bet I do. I actually think that this is going to be a great addition 
for being more productive and it seems really nice. Now, the best part about this was the price. This thing was only $200. So in terms of a monitor, it's actually pretty cheap. I was looking at some of the 27 inch standard monitors. They seem to be in the $200 range. The 32 inch monitors flat were like 230, 240. To go up to a curved 32 inch monitor was like 270, 280. And so I think this is a really good value. And so if you want to pick up this monitor, I like it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.